www.hoodshots.com. We do it for the hood. Let's go. You already know who and what it is. We live right now on Hood Shots DVD with Cal Dawson, the infamous Cal Dawson with Supreme Team fame. You know what I'm saying? Tell him what it is, bro. Yeah, I'm doing, uh, yo. Amazing projects. Uh, I was uh, involved in um, an organization, a group of us, uh, known as the uh, Supreme Team. We was uh, hustlers. You know, I was being hustlers, you know, in that, in that, in that, in that 80s, uh, the epidemic with the drugs, you know what I mean? Like, a lot of us got rich overnight. So, therefore, you know what I mean? A lot of the rappers back then looked up to the, the hustlers. So, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah, 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 that's what a friend of mine who, uh, who I grew up with, we, uh, as we would say, we got cool with Irv Gotti, you know what I mean? He was over there at Zayn on Death Jam, then he started uh, the CEO found the Murder Inc. And uh, me and my friend, we became um, the residents of that, of that label, you know what I mean? Because some dudes was like um, trying to extort or rather uh, uh, befriend Irv, but they had. Um, I would just say all the alternatives. So the you know, possible that going on, you know, um, you know the controversial story. You know what I'm saying? What happened between Ricky Shane and Murder Inc. Uh, what happened? Uh, an individual had robbed Ja Rule in the club, and when he walked out the, the club. He spoke with Ricky Shane. So people took that as Ja Rule took it as that Ricky was having robbed, and you know they started going back and forth to beefing. You know what I'm saying I'm friends with Fifty. Me and Fifty, all right. I mean, I'm also was, you know, with Murder Inc. So I'm leaving with 50 one day at the studio, go to grandmother's house, you know what I mean? Shots was fired. And, you know, I got, you know, shot in the head, shot in the arm, shot in my leg. Luckily, the guy who did it had a small caliber gun. And, you know, I'm, living, I'm living sitting here now to tell him to talk about it. Like, you know, I ain't gonna go in depth with the whole situation with that. But, you know, as us as young black youths growing up, you know, when you, change the light bulb from um, illegal to doing legal things, uh, federal government, you know what I'm saying, they do believe that, you know, Murder Inc. was funded with drug money, which it wasn't. I mean, as you know, you know, Irv Guy was an A&R at Def Jam, so Russell come to check. That's where the money came from, but in the process of the investigation, another individual started uh, telling and implementing things that wasn't so, you know, in the feds, they go by, you know, the first lie, if your life sounds better than his life, then that's what he's gonna go with. So the process of that, you know, I had to go away for, uh, I got since 10 years in the feds, but, you know, due to Barack Obama, you see he changed some drug laws, and he can't be charged with uh, ghost dope, and I got released early. I got released in 2011. Uh, I started on um, Cal Dawson's management team. I mean, we process on Cal Dawson's management team, some artists that I have in the music industry that I manage, and up and coming artists that I'm helping develop their careers and get them relevant and consistent. My company is the Koya C. Farmer. She's the president of the management team. Uh, also, uh, Sonia France, I mean, she's a part of the team. And um, we're working with uh, you know, groups like uh, Soul For Real, we're working with them, we're working with Chief For A Flush, uh, Gaddafi, also um, the real Rick Wars from California, you know. He came out the system and he making a difference. And you know, he has a non-profit organization so he started a record label called Rick Ross Music Group. And I'm the A and R over there. So as you see, what I'm wearing, this t shirt that I have on, is you know the real Rick Ross is not a rapper. You know what I mean? You got a lot of people out here, you know what I mean, taking people's names and just using them, you know what I'm saying, not even having a common courtesy to ask them or, you know, pay homage. I'm working with the original Spinderella. We hosting a mixtape together uh, under Cal Dawson management is uh, the original Spinderella and the real Freeway Rick Ross, real recognized real. I say in the concept of that uh, title of a mixtape because Spinderella is a member of the group Salt and Pepper, and when she uh, left the group, they put in another female using her same name. You know, Rick did what he did in California. We got somebody in Florida, or so since he's in jail, I'm gonna take his name and his identity and incorporate that and 
that rapper became successful. So that's the concept of the mixtape, River Organized Real. So uh, what we're trying to do, we're trying to sell like uh, a million copies of independent, maybe more. I mean, the, and the industry is now, the way it's designed, you know what I mean? Like, it's like kind of difficulty, but you know, let's see what happens. The best team wins. But as I was saying, uh, like a shout out to the Hood Shots for being here, I'm doing an interview with them. We down here in Atlanta, Georgia. You know what I mean? Um, There's a weekend of uh, Tupac Street Core uh, tribute. And uh, a lot of other things is going on down here in Atlanta as well. Uh, birthday bash. You know what I mean, you got the real free of Rick down here. You know what I mean? Making appearances at different clubs, different places, signing books, autographs. You know what I mean? Making a do what he do. So, with that to say, you know, I ain't going to make this into a whole hour, 30 minute interview. But, you know, I'm going to wrap it up. And everybody know, you know. Rick Ross Music Group, Captain Austin Management Team. I mean, and my company will be happy, you always will be dealing with. You wanna make a difference, you wanna uh, try and um, rebuild his, uh, the music industry, the rap world. Cause where he's at now, it's like, you know, it's going downhill. I mean, so, be aware. www.hoodshots.com We do it for the hood.